Hi, I'm going to share a few words of wisdom about going vegan. First, try cutting out one animal at a time. Don't try to go vegetarian or vegan right away. Make it easy on yourself. I want it to last long term. I've been almost 20 years. It gets easy after a few months. Trust me. Very easy. You find new foods that you love. Try one new food each time you grocery shop or each week. Found some of my favorite foods that way. Falafel, hummus. So, you're going to cut out one animal. Start with the birds. Most eat 37 land animals per year. Guess how many are birds? 35. You can eat burgers and steak every day and not eat one cow in a year. That's why places like Chick-fil-A saying eat more chicken are horrible to animals. A so-called Christian group and nearly all their animals are tortured in factory farms too. Because almost every bird comes up from a factory farm. And those that claim to be organic or free range, organic just means they don't give them hormones. They could still selectively breed. And it doesn't mean that they're not warehouse raised if they claim to be free range neither. It can be a small wired fenced in area. So give up the birds first, please. And then the eggs, since the females live in tiny battery cages and all the males are ground up in the egg industry. Since they will not lay eggs and are not the type for meat. They don't grow big enough, quick enough. So millions of males are thrown in mercerators or trash bags to suffocate or slowly die after they're hatched. Male, discard it. Female, debeaked, sometimes cutting off the tongue, lifelong in a tiny cage, and then slaughtered when used up. Females actually have it worse. The males are just ground up right away and killed, luckily, before they can be suffering long term. So give up the chicken and then the eggs. Do the opposite of what most people think. I gave up the red meat. Now, white meat is the most manipulated and unhealthy, almost all of it being factory farmed. And you'll prevent the most suffering. Eat all the burgers and steak you want. Then try to cut out the fish after a couple months. Fish farms and trawler nets are horrible. Look up a trawler net. Bycatch, the size of a football field, catches everything. Turtles, dolphins, unedible fish and sea life. All killed and caught up in the nets. By the time they sift through it, it's all dead, suffocated or whatever. Every fish you eat, probably two or three sea creatures died. Overfishing is a huge issue, as well as human overpopulation crisis. So give up the birds, eggs, and then the fish. Finally, work on the pigs and then the cows. And then finally the dairy, and then the dairy in other products like cakes and such last. If you're baking, try applesauce instead of an egg. Pancakes, a cake, takes its place. They have vegan ice cream, obviously, vegan butter, vegan uh, milk, so it's not that hard. Almond milk, coconut milk, oat milk, makes it easy. Use them as a crutch. Vegan chicken, even. Seitan. Grain-based burgers, if you want to avoid soy. So, join a social group meetup.com meetup or look up some vegan groups on facebook so you have a support system it makes it much easier when you have a support system look up vegguide.org or happycow.net or vegguide.org for places to eat out in your area veg friendly places all over the world just type in the zip code it'll show you ones in that area so it gets easy with time a couple months Anything's hard at first. A new job, anything worth doing is hard at first. Those are my words of wisdom. Cut out one animal at a time. Within maybe three to six months, whatever your pace is, you can be a vegan. No one's perfect. Do your best. If you fail or make a mistake, get back on the horse. Don't let yourself get too hungry. We make the worst decisions when we're at a grocery store or eating when we're starved. Carry a cliff bar on you. Don't get too hungry and you'll make better choices. Eat breakfast, oatmeal, berries, 
walnuts for your omega-3s rather than fish or chia seed or hemp seed. Throw it in your oatmeal every day. You can get your omega-3s. And don't believe the myths. We live longer on average due to studies of large studies of Seventh-day Adventists, Rastafarians, and Buddhists. We live longer on average. Many top athletes from all sports, NFL, UFC, NBA, Olympians, natural bodybuilders, veganbodybuilding.com, all natural ones. Some of them do it just for health reasons. So stop saving the, save the excuses and just do it. It gets easy with time. You'll be thanking yourself down the road. Again, we live longer on average. You'll see your grandkids grow up, get to collect your social security that you paid into and have a good retirement. So those are my steps to being a vegan and vegetarian long term. One animal at a time, starting with the birds, then the eggs, then the fish. Join the support group online. Facebook has groups you can follow for motivation, like-minded people to ask questions, bounce ideas off of. Meetup.com, vegguide.org for eating out restaurants in your area. But I stress the support system helps. And know your facts about the health. Dietitians, registered dietitians, veganhealth.org breaks everything down. Sources of iron, calcium, everything. Broccoli, spinach. Cooking spinach releases more iron. So don't believe the myths. There's a lot of them out there. Propaganda by the meat industry. People are addicted. Don't want to cut quit the habit. So are resistant to learning the truth and change. But if you know your facts and have some resilience and willpower, you can do it. Gradually is the best. Long term for life. Vegan. Thank you. Look up a factory farm video for motivation. Please look up a factory farm video like Farm to Fridge by Mercy for Animals. Join their email list too. And to get involved in activism, adoptecollege.org by Vegan Outreach and vegfund.org, as well as mercyforanimals.org. Thank you, and please share if you care. Write down those sites if you want. <laughs>